Building and synchronizing all your flash animations and objects on the main timeline, the scene one timeline, in a flash movie is not always feasible or possible to accomplish what you want to do. So to get beyond the limitations of a single timeline, we use the flash symbol movie clip to build our animations. So let's take a look at the first example that we're going to create with flash movie clips. Here we have three rotating rectangles and they are actually all the same movie clip. So that what we've done is, is we've created a movie clip and have repeated it three times on our scene one timeline changing some of the properties. So let's see how we make this. Now let's create a brand new flash document and save it as a practice file. Our first step is to create a movie clip and in it we'll put a red rectangle shape. So over on our library we'll go to the bottom left corner and that icon that's down at the bottom, new symbol, and we'll name this symbol red rectangle and it will be a movie clip symbol and choose OK. There are some distinctions we should note between these various editing modes and first in the area of the red rectangle we notice that there's a cross here in the middle and this is position 0, 0 and there's also a timeline at the bottom and this timeline applies to this movie clip. If we go back to scene 1 we remember that position 0, 0 is the top left corner of the stage and it also has a separate timeline which looks the same as our red rectangle movie clip but as we progress they will become different. Now we'll draw a red rectangle shape inside our red rectangle movie clip. So let's first go over to the library and open the red rectangle for editing. Double click its icon and we'll notice again the top of the document area always reminds us of what we're editing and we'll go over and select the shape tool uh, for rectangles and also open the properties tab up and just take a look at the settings. I'm using a red fill color, a black stroke and I'll set the stroke to 12 and one other choice is that I'll have object drawing mode off so that we're drawing really with a vector graphics and somewhere near the middle of the stage area for the red rectangle I'll draw a rectangle and there we go and then I'll go to the selection tool the shortcut key is the letter V and select all of it with a couple of clicks and then look at the properties up here and I'm going to set the X coordinate to 0 the Y coordinate to 0 and the width to 100 and the height to 170 and these match uh, pretty much my expectations and we can see in the stage area that the rectangles top left corner is in the middle of the movie clip which is position 0 0 as well if we look down in the timeline for the red rectangle movie clip we see layer 1 and the first keyframe has a black dot in it indicating there's something on it that's our shape and let's give the layer a name and I'll double click into layer 1 and we'll just call it red rectangle. Next we'll add another movie clip for animating this red rectangle movie clip in a rotation. So let's go to the library and then in the bottom left corner select the new symbol icon and we will type this in and then the name of this I'll use is red rectangle rotating clockwise and it is a movie clip and we'll select OK and you'll see in our library we have two movie clips and we're currently editing the red rectangle rotation clockwise movie clip we can see this in the document window at the top and we can go between them by double clicking their icon in the library and you can see now we're editing the red rectangle which has something visible for us to see and then we'll go back and double click the red rectangle rotation clockwise movie clip so we're editing that. 
Now what we'll do is use the red rectangle movie clip in this new one and we'll select it in the library and drag it onto the red rectangle rotation clockwise movie clip. And we see it in there and what we'll do is we'll align it so that it's centered. But first let's name the layer. So we can see there's layer 1 down here and we will uh, double click into it and just call it animation. I'm going to back up here and select the rectangle and I'm going to open up the align panel or align window. You go under window and choose align or you can use the shortcut keys. And here's the align window and if you haven't used it before the two stage button is important and it means aligning either to zero zero uh, when the button's down, it means align to zero, 00 when you're inside of a movie clip or any flash symbol. And so you can see you can depress or, uh, and release this toggle button. And we want it depressed, so we are aligning to the stage. And the first row of icons has your align icons. And the second one in is to align horizontal, and we'll watch the rectangle move horizontally to the center point. And the second from the last is the vertical align and we can see that moved so now that this is centered within our timeline for the red rectangle rotation clockwise movie clip and so we can close the align panel now we'll create our rotation tween using this red rectangle so we'll select it right mouse click choose create motion tween down on the timeline at the end of the tween span, we'll drag the end of it all the way out to frame 120 and select that frame 120. Next, we'll take the free, form, uh, free transform tool and select that. And on stage, what we'll do is come to the top right corner where we get the rotation icon for our mouse and just drag it down to the bottom left corner and that gives us the rotation and we can see down on the timeline we have a diamond on frame 120 which indicates a property change keyframe and we can just take a quick look at this by doing control play and we have our motion tween completed this ends part one of two for this video